Hmm. Hello. Welcome once again to Stephanie's Plays. I'm your good friend, Bradley. That's our good friend, Link. And today we are playing Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, look. <laughs> I forgot about you. It's Keen, our horse, just hanging out like a good horse. Uh, we may have to go grab Keen at some point. There's no stable really near here, though. So maybe Keen can just hang out in Kakariko Village. <clears throat> Between the last episode and this one, I kind of poked my nose around, did a few things in Kakariko, nothing amazing, kept trying to get up to there, this floating piece of the ring ruined, ring ruin, and Caleb kept yelling at me, it seems like maybe I just can't do that now. Um, I also went and turned on, where is it, this tower, the Rabella Wetlands Skyview Tower. I was able to get up to some sky islands up here. There was a cool little shrine and I found this device dispenser that had steering sticks, steering sticks, small wheel, cannons, cannons, and lights. So now, uh, uh, right button here that we've got, now I've got steering sticks in my inventory, which I think is amazing. I'm going to try to build something with that at some point. But I'm trying to think of what to do. And obviously there are a thousand things we could be doing. But there is also... Now where is that? There is a gloom chasm near Kakariko. And maybe we could jump in there. I can't climb right now, which is kind of annoying. Um, how am I going to get over there? I think it was over in this direction. Maybe I guess I could look at my map. Couldn't I? Uh, gloom chasm, gloom chasm. Where is that gloom chasm? I guess that's the one. That's the survey team base. These are ring ruins here. These are the ones I'm not allowed to get into, right? So I guess if I go in this direction, I will find the chasm and maybe we can jump inside. I was also thinking, I'm not going to make it. It might be fun to go see what Josh is up to because she had more quests down in the depths. <laughs> And I would like to do some more stuff in the depths, but maybe with a little bit a little bit of directions. She can tell us what she wants us to do down there. Where is that stuff? Where's the gloom? Where's the chasm? It must be up here somewhere. I don't think... With the rain, it might be difficult to actually climb up to where we need to get to to jump in. But I think this was the lookout. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can do it here. Let's do some stuff. Who's that? Bees. Bees. Come on, Link. Let's go. We're going to leave Keen behind for now. Afraid of falling in the chasm, are you? Well, look at this. Oh, shit. Uh, I meant to do that. That was a little embarrassing. Hey, meant to do it. Meant to do that. Uh, let's let's try that again. Oh, East Hills Chasm, West Nekluda. Come on, Tullin. We're going down into the depths. Is, the, is this the first time I've had Tullin into the depths with me? Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Let's do some of this. Uh, by most used bright bloom seed. I'm going to try not to use my bow with the bright bloom seeds as often now. How far down? Oh, my lord. This is still really far down. Holy crap. It's bottomless. It's still going. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, uh, we're going to be careful here. You can't see the bottom, which is always kind of a problem. Yo. Uh, let's not do that. Let's just do this. I think we're okay. I think we can land here. I was just worried I was going to land it, it just immersed in gloom. Get some pose. I might sneeze. <coughs> Cunts, darn it. Ugh. Okay. Well, here we are, wherever here is. Now, if we look, okay, yeah, see, there's a bright, uh, bright root right over there, and that should coincide. Oh, no, it's a different place. So I was going to say that should be where our shrine was in Kakariko. But if there's another one over there, that means there's one right behind us as well. Because they are in the same places as our shrines are. Uh, oh yeah, I can do this. I can just throw. That way I don't waste arrows. Doesn't go as far, but it's still useful. Okay, another one of these weird statues. Didn't uh, Joshua want us to take pictures of these statues? Maybe I'll take a picture of this one and see what happens. Controls. A lot of controls, gang.
Is that good? Maybe I shouldn't be doing it without a quest marker. But I am going right now in the direction... Oh, wow. Okay, so this might be a big cliff. In the direction that the shrine should be in Kakariko. <coughs> the depths are just amazing. I haven't done a ton down here. And I do kind of want to wait until we have some quests to do. But it is just so fun to explore this area. So maybe we'll poke our noses here. It'd be nice to get a bright bloom seed down here. So we'll have a place, not bright bloom seed, a uh, bright root down here. So we'll have a place to fast travel if we want to come back. But this does not look promising at all. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could maybe make it up there. If we get up on a cliff over there, perhaps. Let's get these pose. Yoink, 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 yoink. Look at our map. Yeah, we still have quite a ways to go. We need to go basically southwest. Um, The problem with this... Where can I get to here? If I launch myself from here, can I get up... See, I think even if Tullin blows me, I don't know if I can get above that gloom. But that's our path up, perhaps. I could use a rocket on my shield, but let's try this. Go, Tullin, go. Oh, it got us. It got us. Did it get me, though? I don't know if that heart is gloomed or not. I lost the heart, but I don't know if I got gloomed. Let's just keep going. I've got some Sundelions. I don't know if I have any Sundelion... Oops, that's not a good way. I don't know if I have any Sundelion dishes made up right now. But we could... Oh, man, this is a tough place. We could use a portable pot and do it. Damn, nation. Oop, okay. Okay, we're going to go this way. There's a lot of gloom, man. A lot of gloom. Eh. All right, we're going to pick our way through here. I want to get to the uh, bright route. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, close, close, close. Okay, we're doing it. We're kind of doing it. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> what is that thing? That looks Zonai in nature. God, the, the depths are so cool. And what is that? Oh, it's just some of those weird deep fireflies or whatever the heck they're called. Okay, how are we going to get through here? There's something over there. Ghostly lights, more Zonai ruins. Maybe that's a mine or something over there, but we need to get to the bright route and we need to be facing uh, this direction. This is where we want to be going. or more like here, but I can't seem to figure out how to get there. There's gloom everywhere. We could make a thing, perhaps. I have wheels. I have a steering stick. I have all the stuff that maybe we would need. I don't know if I have anything to put the wheels on, though. Let's see what we've got here. Zona devices. We have time bombs, portable pot. Got a steering stick. We got big wheels. We've got small wheels. We've got a spring, cannon, stabilizer, light. I don't have anything to put the wheels on. And that's a problem. I wonder if I could cut a tree down and make something out of a, out of a log? Or could I put the wheels on a glider? I don't know. But right now, we need something to get through this gloom. If I go over here... Let me throw one over here and see... Oop, that's not what I want. I don't want to throw that. Uh, let's go by most used and throw this. <clears throat> okay. It's not that much gloom to get through. Let's just try to launch ourselves. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, now I got gloomed. I definitely got gloomed. Okay, so what is that over there? Whoa, what are you doing? No, I don't want you to do that. Stop it. Stop it. Jeez. Okay, we're still not going totally in the direction we need to be going. But we are kind of going towards this thing, and I want to see what this thing is. Okay. Oh, look at this. Are, is this a Yiga clan thing? 
I found a couple Yiga clan people. I don't know if you saw Breath of the Wild or not, but there are these doofuses who worship bananas or something, and they disguise themselves as travelers sometimes, and they'll attack you. And the Yiga clan in Breath of the Wild were hilarious. You could eventually fight their leader, Master Kogo or Koga or whatever his name was. And it was hilarious. It was really fun. Oh, there's the bright route. Okay, that's good. Let's throw one down here. Yeah. Okay, so we could turn this on. Um, and you defeat him by him finally like falling in a chasm in Breath of the Wild. So I think it's really funny that the Yiga seem to have started their organization back up down here. Okay, I'm going to use one arrow for this. Let's we'll see what's going on down here. Holy crap. I don't see any people about. There's some kind of weird device there. I don't know what that is. Spikes. It's like a tank or something. And then what is this thing? This is an actual Zonai device or Zonai structure. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, let's turn on the bright route first, just so we'll have a spot. We can fast travel to if we need to. The Arusakum light route. <coughs> turn it on. Okay, it's just like, hey, let's get some light in here. It's so cool. Everything about this game is so cool. I'm going to break my controller because I'm squeezing it in happiness. Hey, let's get some ferns growing, shall we? <coughs> there we go. Now, maybe this will show us a little bit more of the terrain around. I don't know if anything will be named on the map yet unless we actually go to it, but let's look. Ba ba bee boo. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay, it's not really showing us much. Okay, and that got rid of our gloom. It didn't give our hearts back. Okay, so this is what we're looking at, I think, down there. Some kind of crazy ruin that the Yiga seem to have, like, hermit crabbed onto. I want to take a look at it. Can I get up through here? What's over here? So this is the right one, right? Yeah, that's right under Kakariko. Let's try to go this way. Then we'll go check in with Jasha. I don't know that we should be doing too much crazy stuff down here without a little bit of direction because we might wander into something that is way above our level. Not that there are actual levels here. I think there are kind of levels here because it seems like the enemies level up based on maybe how many hearts you've gotten or how many shrines. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look down here. Yiga people. Abandoned Kakariko Mine. Interesting. I wonder if I can get all the way up here. Looks like there's a little lip that we can rest on when we get up. Then we can survey what I think is a Yiga encampment. Take a wrestling. There you go. And I don't know if you can get over that lip. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, buddy. Climb up on there. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, maybe I can even just use this. Hey, look at that. So good. All right. Ooh, what is this? Crystallized charges. Is this something we can do something with? Huh. What is down there? There's something glowing down there. I don't know what it is. So this is an abandoned Kakariko mine. Ah, there are definitely some weird constructions down there, things that they've made out of Zonai devices. I don't see any Yiga, but I don't know if that just means that we need to get closer in order for them to appear. What is that? That's something we can turn on, it looks like. All right, this is very fascinating. I want to go down to the bottom and see what's in here. Let's take a look around. Yiga? Do I hear Yiga? 
It seems abandoned right now. Bananas. <laughs> Banana crates. It's definitely the Yiga. Where are they, though? Oh, bananas everywhere. Mighty bananas. And is that a killing machine that they have constructed? It's hard to tell what its function would be. I mean, I'm sure it's not a good thing. And then it looks like there is a construct that has something we could turn on down there. Yiga? I don't see any of them. I'm going to steal their bananas. Don't, don't push the... Okay. Take the bananas. Ooh, and Sundalines? That's nice. Uh, oh, yeah, and I fought a fl uh, flux construct, construct number three or third level up in the Sky Islands when I jumped up out of the Skyview Tower and I got its flux core three and it made a pounder out of it, uh, which is probably good. I don't know. Uh, I want to break these. Okay, can't break them right now. I don't have a good smasher. I don't want to use my flux core smasher right now. There we go. Arrows, bright bloom seeds. So the Yiga are... No, oh, can't grab those. They're doing something down here. We don't know exactly what yet. What is that? Yeah, they're making evil devices. Where are they? Yiga? Hello? Um, I want to turn this on. Oh, this has got to be a Yiga, dude. Let's see. We'll know if it's a Yiga if they have a name. Or if they don't have a name, we'll know it's a Yiga. Actually, I'm going to go grab these first. <laughs> I see Pose over here. And is this a device? I could... Oh, Yeah, it's like an evil human flesh cultivator. It's going to spin around and destroy you, eviscerate you. I could run, I could drive this thing. It has a driving stick on it or a control stick. Okay, let's see what this asshole is doing. Researcher. This has got to be a Yika person. Aww. I've been examining this construct for so long, but I just can't seem to get it working. Uh, well, given that you showed up down here, it can't hurt to ask. Do you know how to activate constructs? Look at he has an evil scowl. This is a Yiga person. If I do this, am I playing into their hands? Ah, Link is too honest. Uh. You do? I thought a famous hero like you might. In fact, I was sure of it. First, I'll rough you up a little. Then I'll find a way to make you talk. Huh. I knew it. Everyone? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to we're going for the construct. Oh, they're they're coming. Ride the thing. Ride the thing. Ah, how do I drive it? Turn! Has very bad turning radius. Gotcha. It's not doing too well, though. This is not an amazing machine. Turn! Turn, machine! Turn! Son of a... I admire their ingenuity, but it's not super useful. Oh, for freaking out loud. Okay, okay, this thing's pathetic. Ow. Tullin, where are you? Tullin! Tullin! Okay, we're doing this. Okay, let's regroup. Grab some food. Uh, okay, eat some of that. Eat some of that. Eat some of that. Great. Oh, they're here. Oh, I've got this stupid thing. I need something better. <laughs> Yo, get him, Tullin. There you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> got one, got one, got one. Got a lot of shit. Duplex bow, cool. Whatever. I think it shoots two arrows at once. I like that. Okay, where's the other one? Hiya! Where are you going, buddy? Hiya! <laughs> Okay, they said everyone, and that was two people. I don't know if there is anyone else. Look at this. Okay. Now, we could turn on that construct. 
A large Poe? Oh. Cool. I got a large Poe. That construct looks alive over there, doesn't it? Ugh. Okay, this is fascinating. We have found a fascinating place. Now, now we have cleaned this out, maybe. So does that mean that the Yiga won't come back, or will they come back when there's a blood moon? Because if... Oh, stop that blink. Because if this is something that we need to keep coming back to, maybe this is like some sort of special device that we're going to use. I don't know. There are more large pose up there, though. Let's just look around. I don't want to turn the construct on yet. I'm assuming something is going to happen when we do. Oh, there was something there. Puff shroom. Bomb flower. It's another good thing for the depths, or another good reason to go to the depths, is because you get lots of bombs down here. And the zonite, of course. Okay. This thing was stupid, but we're going to turn this on. Uh, authorizer verified. Hey! <laughs> He's pushing back that thing. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. I have something for you, but I do not think you are ready to receive it. Please visit the great abandoned central mine and return here afterward. Hmm. Interesting. The great abandoned central mine. That's the Kakariko. I thought maybe I had seen that. Yeah. Uh, or near it. Okay, so we have a place that we could go to. I wonder if that has to do with Josh's quests, though. Let's see if we can talk to this construct. Hello? Maybe this is a place where we can refine Zonite. Authorizer verified. Welcome, I am a forge construct. Yeah, okay, it's a forge. I process Zonite here into other materials. Zonite is a substance that can be mined in great quantities in this land. I am capable of processing this substance and converting it into a variety of things. Here, allow me to show you what can be processed from Zonite. Crystallized charges. Ooh, look. Oh, this might be a much better place to get our crystallized charges from because it looks like they have way more. These are materials that have been processed from the ore. I'm willing to accept Zonite in exchange for processed materials. Okay. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. Blah, blah, blah. Doodly doo. Okay. Uh, thanks. Can I do it now? Let me do it. So we've got large charge, normal charge, large crystallized charge. Large piece of crystal made by condensing zonite charges from zonite equal to 20 normal crystallized charges. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't have very much zonite in my inventory right now. That's weird. So that's equal to 20. And then this requires three for one crystallized charge, but it's only it's only three for a large one? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it's for large zonite. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, okay. So this one, I have 99 of the normal zonite. Okay, yeah, let's do as many of these as we can. I'll take them all. 15. I have 121 crystallized charges now. I can get another battery thing. Let's do as many of these as we can. Yep. Okay. So now we have 150 crystallized charges. So is this the dude... Is this other dude like a battery dude? Let's see what else we have here. We need to go talk to Joshua and see what the hell's going on. What does this thing do? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think there's just pieces that you can make into something. There's cannons. Okay. All right. Interesting. What have we got here? Large crystallized charge. Beautiful. I now have 171. Strange rock piles have been seen all over this area. Climbing them is challenging, but not impossible. Their origin is mysterious. Were they made by settlers long ago? Are they the remains of some monstrous beast? We do know they have one feature in common. A weapon floats at the top of each one. Yeah, we've seen this. We don't know why or how, but it's pretty creepy. Weirder yet, those weapons have a sort of gleam to them. Maybe next time I see one, I'll climb up to get a better look. Glory to Master Koga. Koga! Okay, interesting. Interesting. 
I heard something. I'm not sure what it was. Nope, wrong, wrong, wrong. Smash. I said smash. Bright bloom seeds. All right, let's get something out here and we'll just break. I don't have all day. Come on. Arrows rolling around like it's a freaking bouncy ball. God, they have lots of pieces, lots of Zonai hardware over here. Mighty bananas, arrows, apples, mighty bananas. Okay, so we don't know what this other construct is going to do. It would appear that we have to go, like he said, go visit the central mine first, but I'm assuming maybe that's something that has to do with a quest. So I will probably go see Joshua next, but now we have a fast travel point here, which is awesome. We have a nice place for us to get uh, crystallized charges, which is good. So if we're going to go to Lookout Landing anyway, we can go to the Zonite... Where the hell am I? Okay, over here. Uh, this place, the Crystal Refinery. We can trade in the charges that we do have to get another third of a battery. Then we'll talk to Joshua. This is fantastic. We should be doing more of this stuff because I think we're going to open up more battery stuff. I think maybe the depths, I mean, obviously the depths is for getting Zonite and stuff. So maybe it's going to be about Zonite devices, Zonite charges, the batteries, all that good stuff. And we can just get a lot of good resources down there. So let's do some depths, shall we? Joshua. Here we are. All right. And the crystal refinery is over here. Yeah, over here. <laughs> Let's go say hello to the construct in here. Hello. Goodbye. I would like to see the people's reactions when Link does things like this. All right, here we go. Look at this. This is exciting. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Let's do it. To produce one energy well will require 100 crystallized charges. Is that acceptable? Yes, please. Please wait. Ooh, I don't think you saw it when I did this the first time. Beautiful. We still have 71, so we only need 29 more to get another charge, and then we'll have two full batteries. I've refined your crystallized charges into one energy well. Hey, a small part made from crystallized charges. It increases the maximum energy that can be stored in your energy cell. Bam. Beautiful. Man, that's going to take so long to fill that thing up. I would enjoy further visits from you. All right, buddy. I'll be back. I will most definitely be back. Are you climbing the plinth there, Link? Okay, here we go. Uh, I guess Tullin does not appear when I'm in a city or something. Oh, man, just started raining. Hey, come here. Or actually, Josh is down below, I think. Inchy. Oh, we can talk to this weird Poe statue, too. You who stand before me offer up Poe's so that I may return them to the afterlife. Dark clump, muddlebud, pushroom, bomb flower. I already got the dark tunic. So nothing too exciting here. I've got 20 bomb flowers in inventory. I don't want to waste pose on those right now. Seek my brethren in the depths of this land. Where are his brethren? Offer one of pose to me. If you do, I'll tell you the location of one of my brethren. I think I already did that, maybe. And he might have marked my map already, but I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, is this it? Spot marked on an old map. I don't know if that was from him or if that was like a treasure map that I found or something. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Joshua. Uh... So remember the fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Ta-da! Just look. Ooh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. Okay. Until it ends with the last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. 
Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. I guess. And then there's this strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Ultra hand. Mm. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each one of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is still just speculation on my part. So, <laughs> that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go by myself, so I figured a bunch of bright... I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies, but they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. Probably for the best. So here. Hey, nice. Giant bright bloom seeds. You could have these too. Arrows, good. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. I want mysterious power. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, swordsman. A mystery in the depths. Okay. Let's track this one. So, Joshua pieced together a large mural, each one blah blah blah, next to the temple-like building, focal point of the mural, thinks this place may be the real... Uh, hold a special zone eye power. So let's go down into the depths. Look at our map. Go down. Mister. Oh. It's just Joshua? That's not helping me, Joshua. Uh, where did we see the statue? I think it was at this light route was where we met Robbie down there, and there was one of the statues there, so we can follow that statue's gaze. I'm assuming that whatever we're going towards is going to be somewhat near the central Hyrule area. It's not going to be in some crazy far-flung reaches of this area, hopefully. Okay, where was the statue? That's not a statue. Where was the statue? Is that the statue? I think that's the statue. So where is that heading? Looks like it's going over here. Okay, so we have a ways to go maybe because we've lit up a lot of this area and I didn't see any temple-like structure, so we shall see. More pose, that's good. And apparently that the Bargator statue that I can trade and pose with says there are more of him in the depths. So we need to keep an eye out for those. Okay, the statue is looking in this direction. Let's get our map out. And if we follow this, do, 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 do. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But we are facing sort of southeast-ish. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they keep changing direction. All right. So we'll just keep following these. So she doesn't need pictures. We just need to follow where they're going. Is that a thing? Bombflower. And is that Zonite? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, the only thing we have to smash with is this. Oh, we could do this. Let's make another smasher. This isn't a very big rock, but it'll have to do. Uh, come on now. You grab all the Zonite we can get. Is something attacking me? Hey! Little creeps. Uh, let's do a little bit of this. Ah, oh, they're creepy. Uh, whatchamacallits? Choo choos. Creepy choo choos. I think we got everything. Beautiful. All right. Next statue is facing this direction. Let's follow this direction. Oh, there's an one right there. Okay, we could just kind of look out for the statues, I guess, and follow them to where they want us to go. More pose. It's nice that this is all lit up already. So there's another light route over there. Okay, a bunch of dudes over there. Let's not get involved with them right now. They're probably going to see me. I'm waiting to hear the horn at any moment. I think we're okay. I see a muddle bud. I want the muddle bud. These are very useful. Excellent. Okay, next statue. He's pointing over there. And there's another statue. 
Alright, this is fairly straightforward so far. There's always stuff around these trees, except for this one. Oh, there is. Okay. Keep going. There's another statue there. I wonder how long this is going to go. Is this going to go throughout the entire depths? I'm really keeping my eyes peeled for stuff like this. Pushrooms, but most especially bomb flowers. Okay, another statue. Another statue. This is all this is all good. I'm really liking this. This is cool. Is this a thing? Is this a temple thing? This looks like a big old rock to me. Whoa, what the frick is that? Oh my lord. <laughs> what the hell? Hello? Uh, let's give him something. You want to eat this, you yeah. creep? Do you know that I'm here? I just threw something at you, you asshole. That didn't do anything. A frox! It's a frox! He's a scourge. He scourges. Ah, he's sucking. Oh, he's sucking. He's sucking. Suck that. Oh, gloom. It did! It worked! Okay. What do I hit? What do I hit? Oh, up there. Uh, let me use the big smasher. Get him! Go! Whoa! Holy schnizneez. Uh, sneaky. Is he gonna suck? He's starting to suck. No, he's not. You wanna suck? Ah, he, he's agape. Mouth agape. Watch out, Tullin. I guess I could just shoot... Oh! Shoot the things. No, maybe not. Is he sucking? Sucking. This is cool. It's like a Molduga, kind of. It's another Zelda thing. <laughs> go. Beautiful. Get up there, Link. Go, 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 go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Here we got one. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, get up, get up, get up. He's still very angry. These things are cool. I didn't know these things existed. Aya. Shoot him, Tullin. Fudge. Fudge doodle. Uh Okay, we're good. Is he sucking? Nope. He's slamming. Suck again, buddy. Oh shit. Blue. Okay, mouth agape. He dropped some Zonite that I don't want to forget about, but I already forgot about where it was, so whatever. Suck. Suck. He's sucking. He's not. He's not sucking. Would you hurry up and suck? I don't want to run into Gloom accidentally. Ugh. There it is. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to do the spinny thing because it seems to be too slow. Two more. No, down here, down here. Son of a... Get up on there. Oh, yeah. Ugh. He was targeting something else that I didn't want him targeting. Let's eat a couple more things. There we go. Stupid frocks. Uh, where'd that Zonite go that I knocked off? Can I hit him in the eye? Is that... Oh, it does. <laughs> okay, that does something. Got him. Got him. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Look at that. 
that was freaking awesome. I don't know what these things are, but I'm going to mark this place because there was a frox here. Awesome. Frox fang. Frox fingernail. Crystallized charges. Zonite. That was awesome. <laughs> that was very cool. And look, there's a bunch of zonite over there, too. Okay, where are those statues at now? I completely lost track of where the statues were. Oh, there's one. Okay. We will look in that direction here in a second. Looks like he's pointing at a thing of light over there, but I want to break the zonite over here. That was so... <laughs> that was very cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> okay, look at all this zonite. Holy crap. Bam! <laughs> this is how you zonite. We will have more charges... More crystallized charges and more energy wells very soon. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, look, here's some. A frox. Who would have thunk it? All right, so this guy is pointing over here. Is that another one? Okay, here's another one here. So I don't know what that light is. I think that light's just nothing. I think it's just reflecting from my uh, thingy-me-jobber. So we're almost out. Or not quite, actually. Eh, yeah. Is that just... Does that mean that's not lit? Or is that just a weird feature on the map? Okay, this guy is pointing over here. The music is getting a little more scary. I want to try a big bright bloom seed at some point, too. I don't see another statue. They were closer together, I thought. Let's try a big one. Big bright bloom seed. Big, 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 big. Where's the big? Big. Oh, there we go. Nice. Getting our pose, following statues. We need to end this episode soon. That was probably a good place to end it, but it's still only been about 40 minutes. So let's just keep going for a while. Okay, he is pointing over there. I mean, I see something here. This is something. Just parts. Got small wheels. We've got weird little cart thingies. Glidery thingy. Oh, do I need to go across a chasm? Is that what's going to happen here? I think that's my... Oh, oh, there's another one of those statues, too. Okay, this is getting interesting, gang. Don't need to use up... Oh, don't need to use up all our big bright bloom seeds. Oh, okay. Yeah, chasm. Something that we probably need to fly over. Where's the other statue, though? Is that something? That looks like it might be a Yiga place. Because it looked like the same kind of lanterns, but he's... Oh, no, actually, he's pointing over this way. Straight ahead this way. Okay, let's bear in mind that there are those pieces and parts over there in case we need them. Let's go a little further. Okay, there are enemies. I see enemies. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another statue, though. The statue's pointing over there. Hmm. Okay. This direction. I'm not seeing a light route. Interesting. This is kind of pointing over here, where we've been, to the Nuzamak light route. But it does look like maybe we're going to have to go across a chasm. Okay, are we still in the right direction here? What? 
Ah, Jesus Christ. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. Stop doing that. I keep pressing the wrong freaking thing. I hate these guys. Irritating. Maybe we don't have to go across the chasm. Okay, going in this direction. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this has got to be a Yiga stronghold. He wants me going in this direction. Okay, let's shoot one. There's another statue. This is so cool. <laughs> I cannot tell you how cool this is. Yeah, this is a Yiga place. There are Yiga around. Where is the next light route? It would be really nice to turn that on and get some light around here. Let's climb this guy. Can I climb his calves? Yes. All right, gang. Don't know what we're going to be facing here. I'm still not seeing anything that looks like a temple. I am seeing signs of Yiga activity. Of course, they're not that difficult, so I'm not too worried about them, but let's maybe shine a little light. Actually, I'm going to do big one. Really light it up. Okay. I don't see any Yiga around here, which is interesting. And I don't see, is that a light route maybe? That might be a light route over there. I'm not seeing statues. Let's do another one of these. There's a statue. There's a statue. All right, I don't know what's going on here. It seems like we just have to keep going. We could investigate this Yiga ruin. Or not ruin, but base, I guess. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. According to Ko, this location will be destroyed. Gloria Master Ka. Okay. So they've abandoned this base for some reason? There's stuff here that we could build a car out of if we wish. I don't know. I think we should just keep following the statues. And I can see them marching their way down over there. We have to end this episode soon, but I kind of want to get somewhere first. Just exploring in here is so fun, though. I freaking love the depths. Okay. Oh, somebody saw us or is about to see us. We want to be careful. I've already lost two hearts to the gloom. Oh, yeah, they're seeing us. They can see us. Are they coming? Nope. Oh, Talon's already fighting them. Great. Uh, are they all Lizalfos? Nope. And I can't tell how strong they are. I think they're just normal. Okay, I think these guys are okay. We can probably kill these guys. Ah! Shit, I was trying to... Oh, for fuck's sake. The Lizalfos are too freaking quick. Stop doing that. <laughs> Okay, these guys aren't super strong. That's fine. We're fine. I just wanted to shine some light over there. Oh, I used a giant one again. Okay. Statue. Okay, I see a statue. Get him. These are weak. Weakens. They're just red gloomy ones. We don't need to worry about them. And we have to kind of worry about them, but not very much. Not very much at all. Talon's getting headshots. 
Is that everybody? Oh, look at all the zonite too. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it to take out these camps and get all the zonite. Sundelion. That's worth it too. Beautiful. Bam. Mm. That's worth it. Worth it again. And again. And again. So much good stuff, gang. Got a lizzle bow. So much good stuff. All right, let's smash some rocks. Get our zonite. Follow some statues. Get the depths, man. Good stuff. Oh, my thing's on fire. I got a large zonite. That's good. So three large zonite gives us a large crystallized charge, which is worth 20 of the normal crystallized charges, which is fantastic. Okay, we have 72 normal zonite now. 76. Man, this is, this is awesome. 80. 80. We have enough to get another well now. So just coming down here for a little bit and look at how much zone we've gotten already. Freaking fantastic. My rock hammer. Okay. So there's our next statue. The statue is pointing over here, it looks like. I kept using big ones. Okay. Where's the... Where's the root? Is this the route? This is a route we've already done, though. Yeah. Not light route. Okay. Which way are you facing, buddy? This way. It's amazing how little you see. It's very difficult to make anything out. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Nope. They, uh, come on now. Yeah. Okay, another statue. We've got to get to this place soon, right? Let's see, one more time. He is facing here. Something's attacking me. Uh, why do I keep doing that? I keep doing that. I almost just jumped off the edge of cliff without knowing what was down below me, which is probably not smart. Okay. Yeah. Is that a temple structure? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That might be a temple structure. Looks like there's a light route over there. I don't see any other statues. He seems to be pointing in that direction. Oh, look. Okay, I think we're going to go for it. We're going to fly over there. Let's go. I don't know what these other flames are. I guess that's just them mining. We'll ignore them for now. Great Abandoned Central Mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been here before. I think. And this is where we're trying to go. It looks like there was a light route. I thought I saw a light route. Didn't I see a light route? I swear I saw a light route. I can't see anything right now, though. Where the hell was that light route? Didn't you guys see a light route before? I don't know. Anyway. No, oh, maybe it's over there. No, oh, I think it's the light route we've already been to. Okay, whatever. Okay, parts, lots of parts. Oh, look, researchers. Are these Yiga or are these normal humans? Or Hylians, whatever the hell they are.
Okay, fast travel. Authorizer verified. Uh, it's moving. Conferring auto build to authorizer now. Please utilize it as you explore and excavate the depths for Zonite. <gasps> oh, I think this is a thing where if you make a recipe or make a device, a Zonai device, you can automatically build it now, obviously auto build. But I think it's also, even if you don't have the parts for it, if you have the schematic, it'll make it and just take some of your Zonite to make the pieces. Oh, that's awesome. This was so worth it. Instantly recreate your Ultra Hand projects using nearby items in Zonite. Auto build records your previous creations. Fantastic. Did I see what I just saw? What I thought I just saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? <gasps> That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the text has to say. Hold on. Um, this ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Ah. I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke and we've been struggling to put them back together again. Oh. The one with the round pedestal lost a wheel. Uh, and the one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. Okay. You should be able to use your power to repair the second one in no time flat. <laughs> so come on, let's see it in action. Fix them up quick. You can start by repairing the one on the round pedestal. Okay, so I think what's going to happen is we do this, and then it'll save... Oh, no registered designs. Okay. So once I do this, it'll have a design. Stop it. Uh, how do these work? <laughs> Big wheel. Or a small wheel. This is actually a small wheel, even though it's very big. <laughs> okay, wheel right back, snug as a bug. Now it's time for the main event, the one in pieces on the square pedestal. <laughs> Use the new power of yours and fix it up lickety split. Okay, so now since we've done that, things that are things you make are stored in auto builds history and can be easily recreated from there. Okay. So we built that. Now we can do auto build. And we can pick this. Okay, confirm. And it grabs the pieces that are nearby. Hey, that is awesome. Whoa, it's like I'm seeing double. Built in less than no time flat, too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, ancient power. Uh, thank me, maybe. The techs were right after all. I'll say, that power is incredible. Oh, mast. Oh, no. I knew it. Well, look at that. The legends were true. Oh, is this Koga? Is Koga here? Hey, it's Koga. <laughs> Great work, both of you. You too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is. If there's one foe I'll never forget, it's the man who cast me from my Gerudo desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no-good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. We meet again at last. And don't try to tell me you forgot me. We are bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name and tremble in fear. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the depths defying, from the ashes rising. Master Koga! Leader of the Yiga clan. Nice pose. Worthy of the Ginyu squad. I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power we've sought for so long. The highlight of all the musty old texts we found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and can instantly reproduce them. A long lost ability from the distant past. So you, you, you're cheating. Here we are working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand and you could just whip them up in an instant. That's not fair. You know who could have used that power, the one we worship and revere, the magnificent one. If we offered it to him, we would have both you and Zelda crushed. Both. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. Now I'm going to snatch it back. I mean, he just whipped that up. Prepare yourself. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's be careful here. Let's do a little bit of this. Oh, not this. Let's do a little bit of this. Can I grab him? 
or anything from him? Nope. Okay, let's just go. Ow. Okay, that hurt me. That hurt me a bit. Let's use... Do I have any Sunderlion stuff here? I do not. But I do have Hardy Elixir. Uh, we'll use that. Hey. I stole your vehicle, boy. I think he just keeps doing it. Okay, I'm just going to shoot him up again. There we go. And smack him when he's on the ground. Can't get over this thing. Where the hell did he go? There he is. No, stop using that. Hit him with this. Not too difficult so far. Okay, this is going to be quite simple, it seems. We just shoot him. You left yourself a little gap there, buddy. There we go. I like their little machines, though. It's kind of Mad Max action. Oh, God damn it! I keep pressing the left bumper for some reason. Oh, Didn't even get a hit on him there. Bam. <laughs> he is indeed a worthy foe. Yeah, let's get a different bow here. Uh, bow, please. Bow, please. There we go. Yeah, let's try this. The double bow. Oh, he, he blocked it. Whoa. Go. Oh, come on now. Maybe I should use. Oh, God, he just needs a tiny little hit. And he's gone. Koga! <laughs> it's kind of tough to avoid right now. There we go. If we could just get the angle on him. Oh, I had a chance there. I think that's it. I think we did it. Oh, you pesky little pest! Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, fine. I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart, but I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. <laughs> like his little gut. Mm. I saw your little trick there. You use your right hand to get that construct going. I'll grab that power you cheated me out of for myself, off at the southwestern abandoned mine. <laughs> then the magnificent one, and I will guide this world to its miserable end, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Is the magnificent one Ganon? I mean, this guy, he has power. He has magic of some sort, it seems. He's doing pretty well controlling Zonai devices. So don't follow me! You just told me where you're going, buddy. Oh, I thought he was going to hit the light route as he went. Oh, nice. He left us a chest. Master Koga of the Yiga Clan. Side adventures. Alright, so we know where he's going. We'll have to be looking for him at some point. We should report back to Joshua. Ooh, a huge charge. <gasps> That's a whole well right there. Holy crap. That's fantastic. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That pace place flourished, flourished with activity long ago like this one, or was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them to reach the destination. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There is something I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Okay. Freaking fantastic. Bam. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid detection. There is another reason that it is good you have come. I see that you have the ability to auto-build. That means the schema stone I carry is for you. 
Schema Stone. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as Zonai vehicles. Auto build saves the schematic and builds it on command. Oh, he gave us a fan plane. The new design has been registered with auto build. You should now be able to auto build an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test this schema stone. Okay. Schema stones can help you to build things you have never before imagined. I hope that you find this one useful. All right, let's do it. Auto build. Bam. Cool. So if we want, we could launch ourselves off. This guy is selling crystallized charges too, it looks like. Do they have a refinery here that we can actually trade in our charges? Well, let's do it. So these are the big ones. Can I do any of these? Uh, yeah, speak no more of that. Yada yada. How do you cry? Take them all. So that's going to give us... 200 and... Oh, my lord. Okay. Let's get some of these. As many as we can get. 90 pieces. So that's going to give us... We could do three energy wells now. That's fantastic. All right, so I don't know if there's a crystal refinery here. We could probably look around and see if that's the case, but we will do that in the next episode of Stuff and Things Plays. We could follow Master Koga some more if we wish, or we could go back and report to Joshua. We'll just have to see what we will see. But in the next time, well, we'll do that in the next episode of Stuff and Things Plays. Until next time, tell me again. I'll see you later. That was awesome. Koga!